enveloped viruses include in their envelope membrane which was taken from the cell of their previous host. Enveloped viruses want their envelope to then fuse with a membrane in their new host so that their nucleic acid can then be released inside the cell of their new host. If they target the cell membrane, then the envelope of the virus then fuses with the cell membrane, so then it becomes one with it. But in the process, the contents of the virion are released inside uh, the host cell. In another process, the cell may then uh, form a vesicle around a portion of the cell membrane where a receptor has bound a specific molecule. This is known as receptor-mediated endocytosis. Um, for comparison, in the process of phagocytosis, after a receptor, say on a white blood cell, recognizes a microbe, a membrane pocket forms with the microbe inside. This membrane pocket then pinches off to form an internal membrane bag known as a vesicle. So now the microbe, which had been on the outside of the cell, is now in a bag on the inside of the cell inside this vesicle. Many viruses use this endocytic vesicle as the membrane with which they fuse. One of the reasons is as the endosome is processed inside the cell, its pH can be lowered. And for some viruses, it is this change in pH, which is one of the triggers which uh, allows for the fusion of membranes. Although many aspects of SARS coronavirus uh, infections are still being investigated, um, the fusion of the SARS coronavirus 2 was originally thought to involve the cell membrane, but now seems to at least be primarily one which involves uh, endocytosis and the fusion of the viral envelope with the vesicle uh, membrane because uh, proteins involved in forming endosomes and lowering the pH seem to be important in the infection of coronavirus.